Howdy guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at the best class setup for the P90 submachine gun pipped out in some very pretty platinum camo. So let's jump right into it and start out with the muzzle. We're going to be going down to the second from last thing and throw on the compensator for some nice recoil control and improved accuracy. Then we're going to go down to under barrel and unlike most guns you just have the ability to throw on different kinds of grip tape since you know that the front foregrip for this is actually kind of a, it's an ergonomic design that's part of the weapons frame itself. And we're going to be throwing on the granulated grip tape. Then scoot over to rear grip and in the rear we're going to throw on the stippled grip tape for improved ADS time and sprint to fire speed. Nudge on over to perks and throw on sleight of hand. Then finally up to the stock and throw on the fly strap. So now this submachine gun is optimized for your ADS time along with accuracy to get us to our primary of goal of being the most well rounded class setup. And for a full class rundown we got the P90 set the way I just showed you. Then we got the X16 with my Kimbo class setup which I'll be dropping very soon. Then for our perks, we got EOD, Hardline, and Shrapnel. For our lethal, we got a frag grenade, and in our tactical spot, we got a flash grenade. Okay, okay, hopping in some Atlas Superstore Hardcore Free-For-All. Now, this is a map that, I mean, I've actually come to love for these free-for-all matches, and I think will be a great way to really showcase this P90 in its full glory. Okay, wait, has the match already started? Oh my god, it has already started. We got somebody up four kills. So you know what? We're going to have to do something about that and, uh, and and just take that top spot because that's where we belong, baby, on top of that leaderboard. I thought, was, did we just get killed by the top guy, too? We sure did. Got killed by old Duff. Okay, so now the P90 is a very, very uh, accurate submachine gun. You got a lot of ammo, the 50 round. You can't get an extended mag, though, but I mean, really, no matter what game mode you're playing, you don't really need, uh, need anything else. So... Um, now, like I said, we got the compensator and stuff on here and with that front grip tape and the rear grip tape and everything that we got on here. You can make it more accurate and you can also improve your ADS time a little bit. I don't know what that guy was even, I don't even want to know what he was thinking right there, but it clearly wasn't well thought out. Okay, so now we got two kills, so we got somebody trailing us by four, but we joined in late. We're going to pop him in the back of the noggin with it. That still kind of counts as, you know, the gun itself, I guess, since we hit him with it. Got that. Nice. Four kills. Still leading by three. That guy's getting them just as fast as we are. So now, getting a VSAT or any type of aerial score streak on this map, there are large windows so you can still pop people, but uh, it's not, you know, you're not going to be dropping bodies with it like you would on a map that was more open. So let's see if we can get this guy to cut out in front of us. I think we can. Oh, yes, sir. We can. Nice. Nice. We, we're probably going to end up getting that VSAT one way or the other. Oh, he just spawned there, and that guy, he'll probably try to push in here. I haven't been paying attention to my reload time yet for this gun. I mean, how many rounds I've shot, and if I need to reload. Oh, yeah. oh no, no, he's seen us, he's seen us. Was that Duff again? No. Okay, so Dust one leading us. We're 7-3, and three. he's 8-2. and two. Okay, I think he, he had to have got shot from the side over there, so let's just chunk some grenades. See if we can get a lucky kill. Man, everybody on here right now that we're that on this map is just like posting up somewhere and waiting for you to run in front of them. But I mean, that's just, uh, that's something you run into in any game mode on here, but especially free-for-alls or, uh, or hardcores. And I mean, somebody puts a claymore there and expects, you know, that somebody will be up there. And obviously we had to just be at the wrong place at the wrong time. But now, not having a, a green laser on this does give you the ability to pre-aim more, and pre-aim uh, is a great idea, even though that, you know, we tried to optimize our ADS time. So, you know, we're not trying to get full-on engagements. Now, with this, like, we're mainly going to be just doing our sprint to fire from the hip fire position anyways, where we're playing, you know, hardcore. Uh, and like I said, I've, I've said it in my other videos, but just in case this is your first video, be sure to let me know if uh, you'd rather see me play core with these setups, because core is my preferred a game mode to play regardless it's just these playing hardcore you can actually get these camos done a lot quicker so that's why i'm doing it this way uh and it's hard for me to transition from hardcore to core just for the sheer uh purpose of doing showing the video and showcasing the class setup itself um so i mean that's why that i'm i'm playing hardcore in these matches because that's what i'm currently warmed up to and uh comfortable playing for showcasing these things now, I, man, these, this guy right here in front of us, he is just getting kills right along with us. And I'm worried that my UAV is going to run out right here at the end, and I'm going to need it to, uh, yep, right there it is. Got that. Nice little wall bang through that. Let's see if we can catch somebody out of spawn back here. 
Nice. Perfect. Now, see, that's the thing you got to do, man. You got to read these spawns whenever you're playing hardcore free-for-all. Okay, well, just free-for-all in general. But especially on hardcore free-for-all. Because if you don't catch it, somebody's going to catch you out of spawn. And that's just how it goes. But yeah, me and this guy, Duff, right here, we're neck and neck. Just pushing on through. Let's see if we can catch him with a stun over there. Nope. Nope, we got Duff right there, though. So that puts us one kill in front of him. And I almost guarantee somebody's going to spawn out back here again. Oh, and it was Duff, dude. Like, me and him, we're just two, the two uh, top players right here. Just leading back and back. He might try to go upstairs. Somebody's up there. Nice. Dude, I, I hate to do it. I hate trading off but like that. Yeah, just back to back to back. But let's chill right here and see. Because he's. I guarantee he's going to push through. We'll just hit him with a little bit of pre-aim right here. Somebody's in here. I hear a suppressor. Bro, Venom coming in with a suppressed pistol. Okay, let's throw, let's throw a uh, tactical up in there. Nice. Sweet. Okay, so we need to we need to see if we can get about a three kill lead on whoever, on, a, on Duff here or whoever comes up to the top. Just because that will give us a bit of a cushion, you know, so we ain't got to really, we ain't got to grind for this top spot as hard. And that way near the end of the match, it won't be, you know, teeth on teeth, neck on neck kind of situation. Bro, I love it. I love it when people just wait right there, and, you know, kind of sound whore to see, uh, see who's going to push their way. Yeehaw Paul gave, giving it to us with the old X-16. Thank you. Bouncing Betty. Okay, let's not camp, but I guarantee whoever put that bouncing Betty is going to try to push up these staircases right here and come uh, come claim the kill if that thing wasn't quite able to get them. There we go. I'm guessing it was Yeehaw Paul's. But that is a good place to throw a bouncing Betty, though, because people uh, normally try to swing up to that window right there and, and snag some kills one way or the other. People aren't really favoring that right side right there like they normally do, which is surprising to me. Everybody seems to be pushing off to this back area right here. So we got Duff. I, I think people have the ability to spawn in that break room right there. So you got to watch that whenever you're pushed through this area. Okay, so he's got a two kill lead on us now. Two kill lead is not what I'd like to see. I think... Oh, okay. Well, we killed somebody up in that direction, so let's just back up for a second. Maybe that grenade, nope. Bro, okay, Duff, Duff is going off somewhere, somehow, some way. So let's, uh, bro, I am getting sick and tired of these bouncing baddies sticking everywhere. Got Yeehaw Paul. I'm glad it spawned us right here. I'm sure somebody's chilling up top. Just had to hit a little pre-fire just in case. What is that? So we got somebody over in the other window. So he's, God dang, he's chilling us by five kills. We might, we might end up taking second place, but you know, I mean, as long as you're top three and, and free for all, you still get a, you know, you still get a nice place. Yeehaw Paul, though, he's going to bring it up. He's going to end up passing us too right now. Bro, what is with everybody and their God dang claymores and bouncing Betty's this game? Jesus Christ. Try to have a little fun. Try to play with people that you think will shoot you with a gun or something. They just have to stick all these cheap things around on the ground. By God. Okay, well, let's hopefully... Maybe this guy's still chilling up in the window up there. We can snag him. Nope. Okay, I guess somebody got him. Let's throw a grenade up there just to be safe. Gotta watch this little space right here, too, because people like to really cut through there. Gotta watch the floor, like, every square inch of it. Or you're gonna run into somebody that's, you know, got something on the ground. Somebody chilling up top right there? Somebody was shooting at something. Okay, Dove slowed down a little bit. So let's see if we can kind of, if we can catch up with him. If we can catch up and pass. Oh, no, we only got 30 seconds. It's not looking good. And he's got the enemy cruise missile coming out. Man, that's unfortunate. At least, well, I think I think we got second place in the bag, unless just something crazy happens right here, and he ends up getting uh, a lot of kills quickly. Okay, I hear somebody just coming along right along this side. Let's see, he just died by that VSAT. Okay, that guy up in the... Oh, my God. He better not tie us for second. That's going to push me. Okay, well, we got second place. Still ended up positive. I hate we didn't get first, but Duff went on a tie right there at the end. But, yeah, guys, look. The P90, solid, solid gun. Uh, it's But it's got to be near the bottom of my personal uh, favorite list for submachine guns. Like, now that I got it platinum, it's not one that I'm really going to be returning to. So, yeah, I mean, unless you're just trying to get camos or whatever, this is not a submachine gun I would recommend using that much. Just because there's so many better options available just across all weapons, and especially in the submachine gun class itself. 
But yeah, give this class a try, guys. Let me know how you like it, what you'd change about it, this, that, and the other. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to share my content. Check out some other videos. And that's all for this one. So until the next one, adios.